Kitty Hawk has a huge focus on, on flight testing. So get something um, flying and start testing it. Don't try to design um, the perfect thing that's 10 years away. This is the Kitty Hawk Flyer. This is our prototype. So we've been flying this for uh, about six months now, and we've been working on our, our, on our next version, which, is, which we'll be selling by the end of the year. A lot of the things that we're working on are, for example, being able to fly in higher wind conditions. So this was kind of at the limit of what we like on the prototype. Uh, on the next version, our goal is to, to be able to uh, fly in higher winds, to be able to fly for longer. Uh, we're anticipating 15, 20 minutes. It's how much easier the next one is going to be to fly. So that's, that's the goal at Kitty Hawk. Our, our vision with, with this is to make something that is incredibly easy to fly, that you can literally pick up in a few minutes. Uh, the long-term vision of the company of course, is much, much bigger. This is step one in, in I think, what's going to be uh, a huge and a, a super exciting field uh, in, in transportation. In the ultralight space, um, the, the constraints on what you can design are really open. It's designed to be um, a space that's very open to innovation. Uh, at the same time, you have strict constraints on your weight limit, so 250 pounds. Uh, at 250 pounds, when you're dealing with only batteries, it's difficult to make something with, with a sufficient range. So on our, quite a few of the, uh, the people on the engineering team have flown. Uh, we try to, we, we have a, a tight feedback loop between test pilots and engineers, so a lot of the engineers are actually flying the vehicles as well. What, what you see here and what you're going to see a lot of in the next few years is a multi-copter. Uh, it is, this has eight rotors, uh, so you have redundancy in, in the mechanical system. If any rotor goes down, you can continue flying. Um, the, the fundamental basis of that is to be able to turn, is to simplify the mechanics um, and then use computational power to be able to stabilize and control this. And that, that gives us an incredible ability to make this very easy to fly. So the onboard computer stabilizes this in the new version the GPS will hold position as well. You take your hands off the control and it just sits there. There's going to be something for sale that you can buy. Uh, a multi-copter that you can buy that you could fly on a lake without a pilot's license. Um, I mean, in the next few years, this truly is going to be, um, you know, th th this is step one in, in the recreational market, but long-term vision, uh, this is gonna be the next form of transportation. Um, and exactly when that happens, there's a lot of factors, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to predict. <laughs>